What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be starting it out with two barn finds because I have managed uh I don't even honestly I don't know how I managed to get them, but I managed to get two barn location maps. Um so that's gonna be the start of this video, and then we're gonna be working on some special uh some special vehicles today. I have two Lamborghinis and a couple other things on the uh, docket list for us to work on. Um, let's hit the barn finds first though. All right guys, and it looks like the first barn find here is going to be a bust, which is kind of a shame. Let me see if there's anything in here that we could possibly use. We don't want that cam gear. We don't really need any of this. Let me see here. Oh, we can get a case. The cases are somewhat useful. Sometimes we find good stuff out of them. All right, I think that's it. Though. What is this? Bolt into F. -mail. Okay, yeah. Dang it. All right, so we'll buy this, and we're gonna head back to the shop, and we're gonna join back into another barn find. Uh, it'll be our second one and the last one for this video. Um, I'm gonna try and get more barn finds in the future, just because I like the way that they're set up. The last one is in the far top right of the map. Um, yeah, the way that they're set up is the cars are in decent condition, but they're still like junkyard-esque. They're just not absolutely terrible. Usually the paint's good on them. Usually they're around like 40-ish percent. Okay, so first thing we got, a bolt. Chapman. There's usually a case in at least each one of these. Not there. Oh, wait, what was that? Hummer. Window. We don't need that. Nope, not this. Let me check this one. Case, there she, there she is. Nothing here. Nothing here. Any other spots? One more, or two more spots. Okay, so it looks like it's only one. And then it looks like... Oh, this is an Atlanta, or, yep, about Cape F Mill. Ah, oh, wow, we found, is that three bolts now? Which one is this one? Is this one the Atlanta? That's the Chapman. So we found three bolts, but no, uh, no other special cars. That kind of sucks. All right, we're going to head back to the shop, and I'm going to bring in the next car for us to work on. All right, guys, I got something special here. So I found this mod a little while back, and I've been struggling to get it, but I finally found it. And I found it in a really, really cool configuration. We might switch it around, but I'll unveil here. I think you guys, I guess you guys saw from the thumbnail, but here you go. It is, I'm not sure what year it is, probably late 80s. Yeah, probably late 80s. It's a Ford F350. Let me show you here. Currently, it's got a, a single carb V8. Uh, you can do a single carb V8, you can do a boss rear wheel drive, you can do a coyote or a supercharged double overhead cam. Uh, V8. I think we'll stick with the single car just because it's more uh, era fitting. But take a look at it. It's got, <laughs> it's literally got like a moving, uh, how do you call this? Moving clamshell on the back so you can like load everything up, uh, haul stuff around. We'll move it over to car lifter A. See how it looks on the lifter. Oh, look at that. It doesn't even have, it doesn't even have the uh, rear trunk on. Is there supposed to be a trunk? Ah, there is. Okay. Yeah, but there you go, guys. This is going to be our new truck here. Um, I think first for this uh, for this one, we will work on the motor. Uh, we'll just we'll just rebuild this V8 uh, single car because that's going to be super easy. Um, and we're going to be doing it. We're going to try and do it uh, as just a pure restoration, guys, which I think will be really, really, really cool. Um, so let's just get going on this thing. Get it all the way up in there. It's got some pretty good physics to it, I guess. I mean, there's a little bit of a gap there, but not too bad. Um, let's get our engine puller over there. Oh, and guys, I decided with the muscle cars, um, the Mustang versus the Challenger, I'm not even going to race them because the Mustang's just going to beat it so bad. I didn't anticipate that supercharger kicking in an extra 300 horsepower. So this thing is just absolutely going to murder that Hemi. Um, but I mean, if you guys want me to do it, I, if you comment down below and I'll do it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be an absolute, uh, slaughter like it was with the other Mustang. 
All right, so let's disconnect the drive shaft and then we can drop the gearbox. And we should be good. I wish in this game you could pull the gearbox out with it. Um, mainly because I know a lot of people do that. Um, when they pull engines, they pull the transmission attached, which I don't know. I wish you could do, but it's all right. It makes more sense, I guess, for this tiny engine stand. All right, there we go. I think everything is cleared out of there. Let's get our battery on the tender over here. Check. And let's get this. Single carb. I guess we do have a V8 boss motor. Oh, hey, this one actually has a cam gear on it. But no oil pan and probably no connecting rods whatsoever. Yep, per usual. All right, let's drop all these out. Oh, transmission's still on there. Or our clutch pieces are still on there. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna try and be doing this one as close to like era specific as it was. Um, so we're gonna be trying to keep this one looking pretty much original. Nothing too far. We'll find some uh, factory paint codes for this uh, year or model, um, which will then help me figure out the year. But I, oh, it's gotta be late 80s. I don't, I'm not sure though. Sounds like we just junked a crankshaft. Better than an engine block, let me just say that. Yep, so you need a V8 overhead valve crankshaft. Uh, overhead valve. Oh, I spelled cranker on. Wow, we are on a roll. Then while we're in here, we'll get everything else. And we're going to buy everything from just the normal shop because we're not going to be buying any performance pieces which is honestly going to help us out a ton um for price strictly for price there we go we need to get rods we need to get crankshaft caps let's see crankshaft bearing cap three of those and then we're going to need to get ourselves an oil pan and an oil filter for this v8 overhead valve here so the black filter with this one, and then we're gonna want engine head, overhead valve. Two of them. Let's get our rocker arm. 16 of these and 16 valve push rods to go along. Ooh, that's a lot. All right, and then we'll also grab a clutch pressure plate and a flywheel while we're in here. All right, let's think anything else. We're gonna need some cam gear pieces. We're gonna need the overhead valve cam gear. Then we're also gonna need the, all the timing pieces for it. Timing for overhead valve. We're gonna want that cover. I know what the cover is. Um, we'll get ourselves an alternator. Power steering pump. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a regular V8 one. Yep, there we go. All right, now we have a lot of parts all ready to pop into this. Look at that, we can actually, we can do the entire timing cover before we're even doing the pistons yet. Timing is very, very, very important though, so. Makes perfect sense as to why we could do it first. Did not realize we had so many extra pumps there. That is kind of a bummer. Okay, so we still need the water pump perfectly fine and all of our other serpentine belts all right let's get our crankshaft bearing caps in first mainly so we can center the crankshaft keep it a little more realistic than usual try and go in an actual order let's see if I go this way I can see all the stuff better Can't believe we'll actually finally be able to use some of our clutch plates that we have just lying around. I think we repaired, we probably have nine clutch plates, maybe 10. We have a ton laying around though, as you guys probably have seen before. Really, do we already run out of rod caps? I guess we did buy 20 before and they don't last very long. It's in the fact that we're using eight per engine usually.
And our last one. Oil pan. We'll go criss crisscross pattern. Alrighty, there we go. So rotate this puppy upwards. Uh, part note. I've never used part notes before. I don't I honestly don't think anybody has ever used the part notes. I was originally when I first started the game, I wanted to use part notes um, when I was working on uh, customer orders just because it was easier to do that than have to go back and forth selecting it. But they never had part notes available about a year and a half ago. So not even a year and a half ago, probably just a year ago. They didn't have them available, so I never did them. Alrighty. So now let's do water pump. Uh, there it is. Overhead valve, water pump. Where's that? That's the supercharged version. We'll just get this one. And then I think we're going to try and snag our serpentine belts. So we want belt A. Belt B. We don't need the supercharged one. Uh, what else are we needing? Oh, ignition. We need our coil B. We need our distributor, our rotor, and our distributor cap. Let's also grab our manifolds while we're in here. We need overhead valve manifolds. Man, it's been so long since I've used some of this stock stuff. I'm just not used to it at all. Uh, I think that's... Probably missing one or two things, but I think that's everything in our immediate vision here. Oh yeah, we can't forget to get the uh, the radiator. Mission coil, belt. Probably should have waited to put the uh, belt on because now it's gonna that that fan shroud is gonna block our view. Get the clips. All right, that's clipped in. Radiator, fan. Overhead valve. We will snag that actually, because we might as well. There we go. That should provide adequate cooling. Let's get these manifolds slapped on. Oh, we have not bought spark plugs yet either, have we? Then I think we'll be using V8 ignition wires. All right, let's go buy those real quick. Pick up eight of these bad boys. Ignition wires. Oh, there's a lot. I think it's this one. I think it's that one. And then we'll snag our covers. Let's hope it's that one. And this is a single carb. So I'm not sure what we're going to use. So I'll just wait on the carb and our intake. All right, there we go. Now we can put all of our push rods in and get all of our rockers. Slapped into place. I think I've said this before, but definitely rocker arms are not only, not only rocker arms, but rocker arms and valve push rods are my most hated part about doing the overhead cam, uh, no overhead valve uh, motors, just because it's such a pain. All right, we got the correct covers at least, thankfully. And we'll snap over here to this side, get these spark plugs in. I'm really excited for the, the second half of this video, for the actual restoration appearance part of this, because I wanna see what they have to offer. Not only does it, we do we have like a, a moving truck clamshell on there, but I'm sure there's a ton more you could do. I'm kind of wanting to go for like the farm truck aesthetic just because I think it's just super classic. Did we buy the exact? No, we bought way more. We bought 
We bought 20? No, we bought 4. We bought 16. Yeah, we bought 16. I was going to say, it's hard to stock up on these when you can only buy 20 at once. And then you use 16 per. Oh, it's intake manifold single carb. We'll get a carb ready. I think it'll probably be a double barrel. I'm trying to remember what it is. It's either a double or a four. Probably a double. Four barrel. All right. And then I'll wait on the scoops because I'm not sure what scoops they're running. Get this on. This might be our fastest. Um, Overhead valve to date so far. Let's see. Oh wait, there it is. The cover. Oh, look at that. It was all sitting right there. All right, let's take a quick look around here. I think we have completed everything. Yup, it looks like it. Let me just pop this off. Slot this in. Oh, sweet, it works. Okay, next thing is going to be battery. Put the battery and the servo on here. Or not servo, what am I saying? Uh, the brake master cylinder, that's what it is. They call it brake servo in here for some reason. Don't really understand it, but... Oh, we can't repair the radiator. It's a shame. Hey, this restoration has not even, barely even cost us like 10 grand so far. That is super cheap for a full brand new motor in this game. What? I selected the new one. There we go. And look at that, the value is already up to $12,000. If you guys can see up here, that's what it's going to look like. The factory color on it right now is brown. Um, I'll, I'll find what the factory codes are, and I'll show them on the screen um, in the next video like I've done for the Bronco, um, as you guys saw that one. But I would end it here, guys. We got the V8 uh, single carb in here. It is ready to go. This thing is just got to do suspension, all the appearance, um, and then we can get her on its own wheels and actually get it moving. Uh, we might even test it on the dyno to see what it pushes. Um, single carb. Probably, I think if it's a full restoration, it probably is just going to be 277 horsepower, but it's not too shabby, honestly. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this so far, hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Bring that bell icon if you guys want to see uh, more videos, get updated on them from me. We're going to be putting about, out about one to two videos a day coming up here, guys. Um, there is a new farming simulator tournament starting up, if you guys have not heard about that yet. Um, so... Not this week, but next week, we're going to be getting Car Mechanic Simulator and Farming Simulator, two videos a day for two weeks straight. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It's going to be really tough for me, but I think it'll work really good. Um, but yeah, for two weeks straight, guys, two videos a day. So that'll be 28 videos in 14 days. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Uh, but I'll see you all in the next restoration video.